The following clip is from TrainSignal's System Center Configuration Manager Training Course, featuring nearly nine hours of Configuration Manager training designed to help you assess, deploy, and update your servers, workstations, and other physical and virtual devices. Enjoy the clip. Using DCM to monitor forefront client security. This is an R2 only feature. This does not work on SCCM RTM or SP1. If you're running either of those, this won't work. Forefront Client Security is Microsoft's foray, one of Microsoft's forays into the anti-malware arena. Configuration Manager 2007 R2 includes a configuration pack that you can use to monitor the status of Forefront Client Security that's installed on client PCs. Now, virus and malware information is not reported via DCM only basic overall FCS status. So make sure that the agent's running and configured and all that good stuff, but it's not gonna tell you that machine X has a virus. That's really not the purpose of monitoring Forefront. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the Configuration Manager configuration pack for Forefront client security, and we're gonna see what happens with Forefront on the machines in the Lipton Legal Lab. So I'm gonna go back to the server and we're gonna work some magic. Now, if we come back up, you're going to see that I have a couple of folders in my SCCM folder. This is a folder, kind of my catch-all for everything. I've installed the Forefront Client Security on DC1 and on SCCM1, not on DB1. And that was very much on purpose. Inside the FCS folder, you're going to see that there's an FCS config pack.msi file. Now, you might want to know where I got that. If you insert your SCCM R2 CD into your computer, you're going to see a folder called FCS. This is the file that's in the FCS folder from your R2 install media. So I'll double click the config pack and we'll install it just like we would other configuration packs. And note, take note of the location, it's the, the long path here. And we'll click next and it'll take just a second, and finish. Now, that all that did was install the CAD file to a location where we can now get it from Configuration Manager. So we'll go back to Configuration Manager, right-click one of these other items, choose Import Configuration Data, and choose Add. And now we're going to go to the location to which we installed the Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack and grab it and it's obviously this one. Click Run, and Next. And again, we're gonna have one baseline, and we're gonna have nine configuration items, and let's take a look at what they are. Is the agent installed? Has there been an anti-malware scan completed in the last 24 hours? Are the signature files up to date? Is the service running? So there's a whole bunch of things that are gonna be checked to make sure that our Forefront Client Security installation is running at full tilt. So we're looking for green check marks, and I'm, I assume we'll see them. And there we go. We got green check marks. So we'll click Close. And now we will assign the new configuration baseline to one of our collections. Assign to a collection. Yes, the Forefront Client Security Configuration Pack. We're going to assign this just to the server collection again. That's what I'm using for this video. And click Next. And a green check mark means success. We'll click Close. And you probably can guess what's going to happen now. I'm going to pause the video while we wait for this to take effect. And we'll come back in a few minutes. Time has now passed. Let's go look at the status. So we'll do the uh, home page summarization and a refresh and see if we have anything. No information yet. So let's take a look at the report. Here we have some warnings. We have all three of our systems that are non-compliant. And they really shouldn't be because they can't get definition updates because they're not connected to the internet. So I know that they're going to fail and that's okay. I just want to know that they did fail. Now, for some things, they are compliant, or two of them are anyway. 
we have the FCS agent installed on two of the machines. Remember, I told you that I did not install Forefront on one of the machines. In this case, that failure to install Forefront results in a non-compliant being thrown for the machine that it was not installed on. And that's good because for a security software like Forefront, you probably want it on all of your machines. So let's just make sure that the servers that I said they were on, it's really on. So we'll click the configuration item link and we're going to see that again, that's non-compliant on DB1. So that is indeed the case because it's not installed. And there's a whole bunch of other items here that it, that it could have failed on um, or that they probably did fail on. We have machines that are compliant. None of the machines are compliant for these three items. And that's no anti-malware scan, state assessment, and anti-malware signatures up to date. Which makes sense because I have not done a full scan. Um, the signature files are definitely not up to date.